Looking to set up your Blockstream Jade hardware wallet? Stick around, I'll show you how to get it all set up so you can receive and send Bitcoin. So you have a new Jade or you're thinking about getting one and you're just curious on how hard it was to set up and get going with it. Today I'm going to walk you through the process on how to get this set up and get ready to send and receive. So I will be pulling up uh, screenshots of what I'm doing with the device. I'll also screen record my phone because you need a software wallet to interact with. I'll show you which ones I suggest using and how to set it up and pair everything together. And uh, then we'll wrap up. I will uh, I'll give you a discount code later in the in the broadcast. If you did uh, if you don't have one so far, you uh, you can pick one up and save a little extra money or if you need a, an extra one for some reason. So stick around, here we go. We'll get everything going and set up. All right, first thing we're going to do is we're gonna take our Jade out of the box. If you haven't seen the unboxing video, I will put a link for it in the uh, up on the screen here or a link down in the video description. You're gonna take this out. What you're gonna do is you're gonna plug it in for at least two hours. Yeah, you're gonna have to wait a little while. You're gonna have to plug it in. So be sure to hit like and subscribe and then uh, add this to your watch later if you have to get yours charged up. Um, once you, while you're waiting to get it charged up, you're going to go to the Google Play Store, the Apple App Store. I'll have links to the Blockstream Green software wallet in both um, in the video description. Uh, so links to that if you use iOS or you use Android. And uh, here's a screenshot. I use Android, so this is the Play Store. You can see uh, what the, the app logo looks like. Be sure you get the, the, the right one when you search Blockstream Green. If you don't use the link, uh, some other things might come up above it, but make sure you get the one with the green and white badge as you're seeing on the screen right now. Uh, I already have it downloaded, so I'm just gonna hit open and bring that up. And that's what we're going to see when you download the app. Nothing is installed. I don't have any wallets already there. You can see I can add a wallet. I can use a hardware device and that's eventually what we're gonna end up doing. So I'm gonna take that down off the screen. We have our hardware wallet. It's been charging for two hours now. And what we're gonna do is we're going to hold, uh, press and hold the green button here on the side. So there we go until the screen lights up. You can see it light up. It's going to load up, excuse me. It's gonna load up here and as you can see, it's uninitialized. I got a full battery. Actually, mine just dropped down a little bit. I've been messing around with it here, making some videos, but uh, you're gonna have a full charge. Uh, you can use this wheel here is how you're gonna make different selections. And this button here is how you choose something. Uh, how it's like enter. Uh, you can see here we got scan seed QR. So a great feature of this is with the built-in camera, if you would like to store your uh, seed phrase as a QR, you can just scan it and, uh, and re-initialize re, uh, a wallet on the, the, the Jade. So say you gotta do a firmware upgrade and you wanna factory reset it and so there's no, uh, no information on it when you're doing that upgrade. If you have to hook it to the internet for some reason, you can factory clear it um, do whatever firmware upgrade you need to do and then scan that code and we'll put your wallet right back on without having to put in your 12 word seed phrase. So that's a really cool feature. Uh, options, there's a ton of options in here. Uh, go through those at another time. This video is actually about getting set up. So you're gonna have to set up the Jade if you have nothing on it. It's just a brand new hardware device. Uh, another thing on the screen here is this is the identifier of this hardware wallet. So whenever we're pairing it to our phone, uh, if there's a Bluetooth pairing request in the software app itself, that is the number that is gonna identify this hardware wallet. So to get set up, here we go. We're going to press enter. If you want instructions on how to do this, you can go to blockstream.com slash jade. You, uh, I will put a link for that in the video description. So if you need that, 
but you shouldn't need it. You should be able to watch this video and I will walk you through everything that's on that list. We're going to hit continue. Um, we can choose from begin setup or advanced setup. At this point, if you're watching this video to set this up, we're going to do a, be a begin setup. This is going to be an introductory video for sure. Um, we have the option to create a new wallet or restore a wallet. We are going to make a new wallet. We're going to assume that we don't have another one. This is the place that if you factory reset the Jade and you want to uh, restore an old wallet from a seed phrase, from a 12 or 24 word seed phrase, this is where we're going to do that. But for this video, we're going to hit create a new wallet. Here are we're going to get our 12 word seed phrase. And uh, for a 24 word seed phrase, you're going to go into those advanced options that we went by before. But right now for the standard wallet, we're going to get a 12 word. We're going to hit continue. It's going to populate our 12 word seed phrase. Be sure you write it down because after you write it down, it will make you confirm that you wrote it down properly, asking you questions. I will uh, go through this real quick, show you how it goes. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. You can see the beginning here. I have to record these, so I will be back in just a second. All right, so what I was saying, uh, I've recorded my 12. Uh, it comes up four at a time. Uh, after you record the four, you hit the button here. It goes on to the next four. After you get all 12, get through all 12, it's going to make you confirm it doing three or four different sets of words. So confirm word three. We got, uh, I look on my list here, I look what I got for word three. We saw it earlier on the, on the list there when I was showing you, and uh, there it is. So I'm gonna hit that. All right, I confirmed all mine. I made sure it was working. I hit all of my, uh, I hit, got them all right. Uh, I had my, my words created are uh, written down properly. Next, you're gonna want to, you're gonna choose how you're going to want to interface with the software wallet. Um, I suggest right now you either use USB using the cord that came in the package, or you can use Bluetooth. That's what I'm gonna do right now. USB, basically you install the app, you plug it in and uh, go from there. We're gonna hit Bluetooth. So it's saying that uh, I need to select the J269B4A or BA4, excuse me. That was the number up in the in the top corner. You can also see it's here at the top of the screen. That is our that is our device. I said we were going to need it later when we looked at the the software wallet. And so here we go with the software wallet. We have it up here. We're going to um, excuse me, we're going to be on this screen here, add wallet, use hardware device. We're going to use a hardware device. We're going to click that. Uh, you can connect the Jade, the Blockstream Jade to this or several other hardware devices. So what you're going to do is click connect Jade. And there is our hardware wallet. Remember on the other screen, see right there, we are going to click that. Now we are connecting. <coughs> We are now going to um, have to, con to put in a pin in the hardware device to, um, so that we, it's our security pin basically. So we're going to, on the screen here, we're gonna use this um, toggle to, I don't know if you can see that on the video, it's very light, uh, we can move the numbers. So just for demonstration purposes, we're going to do one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to have to confirm that pin. Be sure you write it down. Uh, one feature of the Jade is if you put your if you put your pin in incorrectly three times, it factory resets the Jade. You're going to have to go through and restore the wallet using a seed phrase. Um, 
it's a nice security feature to have. There is also an option to have a uh, self-destruct pin that isn't a pin that will open it up. Basically, if you put it in the first time, it uh, it it clears the it clears the whole wallet. So be sure you write down your pin, write it down, you know where it is. Now we're logging in on the Blockstream Jade, uh, or the excuse me, the Blockstream G Green software wallet. You can see it's logging in there. We are connected via Bluetooth. Takes a little time, especially the first time as things are getting set up. And you can see on the screen there, welcome to your wallet. And we are going to create an account with Blockstream Green. Um, we can do either a standard or a two-factor authenticated protect 2FA protected wallet. Um, right now, for this example, we're going to have a, a cheaper, cheaper option. It's it takes a little um, takes a little less time to get through things. Uh, I'm not planning on using this uh, going forward. I'm going to do this. I'm doing this basically for a demo. We're going to do standard. There is our wallet. You can see we have zero Bitcoin in it. Uh, it is ready now. It is all set up and ready to use now. Uh, you can see at the bottom of the screen here, we have send, receive. And if I click on the wallet here, not sure what happened there, why that went back. Excuse me. All right, well, this is a great opportunity to show you what happens. Uh, so if I close the app, I'll go back to the store. Uh, so you open the app. Say you, say, you just, uh, say you just got everything set up. You're ready to send yourself some Bitcoin. We're going to go through this. Excuse me. Turn this off. All right, this is how you're going to connect to your wallet to be able to use it. See on the screen there, we got the Blocks Dream Green software wallet. We're going to open it up. This is what I've already connected to it. This is my Jade. I'm going to hold down the green button on the side. It's going to load up. I'm going to wait till this is on. We're going to now want to connect this. So we're going to click on our Jade that we want to connect to in the green wallet. It's going to ask us for our pin. Earlier in the video, we set that up, remember? So we got one. check my pin I'm gonna initialize you can see on both now I have I'm open here I'm ready to use um, I'm ready to use it after it logs in on the software app as soon as we get that done I'm gonna give you a little uh, I will share with you a discount code to use when you're picking up your Jade and we'll wrap up there we go. We got our wallet open. There it is. Able to use it. We can send, receive. We can scan a QR code for either one of those. And basically, I will walk you through how to use this thing in the next video. Uh, be sure, if you are still waiting to pick one up, you use discount code the Lots Project at the link in the video description. Click on over to the Blockstream store. Use that code. Get yourself 10% off. I appreciate it. It helps us out. I get a little commission when you use that link. So be sure you hit like, subscribe, and the bell, notifications, all that. You check back often because I'm going to be putting up a video here real quick on how to send and receive Bitcoin using Blockstream Green and the Blockstream Jade hardware wallet. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. Shining in with a gun in the day At the end of this long day
Yes, I 